Today on Pots and Trials, I'm back in the potting shed, answering a few of your questions and giving some tips on your Christmas house plants. And that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Darlac. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well, it's starting to feel a lot like Christmas now. So I thought for our last programme before Christmas, I'd pop into the potting shed, answer a few questions, give you a few tips on your houseplant. So let's get on. Carol Wall has been in touch and she said, oh dear, I forgot to prune my fig tree this year. Can I give it a good hack back now? Well, the answer is no, don't give it a good hack back, Carol. Certainly not now, it's too cold. Wait and do it in early spring, just when there's signs of growth there. And that will be much better and certainly don't hack everything back if you cut it hard back it will just stimulate lots of new growth for next year and you'll get no figs at all so it's a case of thinning it out a little bit shortening some of the longer growths but don't tip everything back because it's on the tips of the shoots that were made this year that you'll hopefully get your figs next year some of those slightly larger figs will probably fall off they might not mature for next year so it's the tiny embryo figs at the tips that are the ones that we're interested in so give it a tidy up and also there's a branch going behind the downpipe that goes from the gutter looks like it's going to a water bottle just make sure that doesn't cause any problems in future years so you might want to either bring it back around the front or prune that one down a little bit as well but wait until March and it will be fine good luck and hope you get lots of lovely figs on there um, question from Becky Foster hi Becky Becky was bought a gift for Christmas uh, of a blueberry bush and she'd like some tips on how to care for it to make sure she gets lots and lots of lovely blueberries in the future. Well first thing Becky thank you for the photograph as well uh, it doesn't want to live on the mantelpiece all the time I'm sure you've only done that for your picky these are totally hardy they live outside they come from North America Canada where it's very very cold so it can go outside it needs to be grown in an acid uh, compost or soil so if you're thinking of growing it in a container just buy some ericaceous compost and go in a pot that's maybe three inches bigger in diameter than the pot that it's already in pot that in the spring you need to do it straight away it'll be fine for a while in that pot and then basically don't do a lot with it just let it grow it will come into leaf in the spring it has really beautiful blossom little urn shaped blossoms a bit like lily of the valley almost and then the blueberries will form in the summer and as soon as the blueberries start to form you need to give it some extra feed so i always feed mine with a high potash tomato fertilizer is perfect that helps the fruits to swell and to ripen and the only other warning that i would give is make sure you protect it from the birds because birds love blueberries and they will get them off the plant before they they ripen too much uh, certainly before we would pick them anyway so you're going to probably need to put it um, underneath some fleece or a bit of this uh, enviro mesh that type of thing just to keep the birds off um, and it will go on for years and years i've got some blueberries in pots that are probably 15 years old now in quite big pots and we get a good crop pruning don't do anything for the first couple of years just let it grow and do its own thing water feed and you can't go wrong with it so good luck with that one uh, Jan Gilzine uh, has been in touch she said she watched me on TV this week pruning apple trees for winter and she wants to rewatch but can't find which show it's on any help please well I don't think it would have been a television program because I haven't done any television as such for a few years now so I suspect it's one of our pots and trowels that we've done either last year or the year before Jan so it will be on there somewhere um, as well as Facebook they're also on YouTube and that's probably the easiest place to find the back catalogue so just go on to YouTube search for pots and trowels and you can go back over all the programs and there's probably a few hundred now what we want to do is to make sure that inside the tree like this is nice and airy you could actually get inside it we don't want lots of branches. if you can't find it worry not because we are going to film pruning apples again winter pruning we're going to film it and it will go out on Facebook on the 6th of January and we're going to look at an overgrown congested tree that's been pruned but it's very thick and it needs thinning out and reshaping so something to look forward to in early January with that one had a message that actually came in a few weeks ago this one did from Tom so apologies for not answering it sooner Tom Tom wants to know how to make hellebores flower for Christmas he's got quite a lot in his garden but they never flower till February or March uh, but he wants to get some in flower well 
I think it's probably because you're growing a different type. There are lots of different types of hellebores. The one that is commonly grown in the garden that looks wonderful from February, March and even into April is the oriental hellebore, Helleborus orientalis, which has now had a name change. It's Helleborus uh, cross hybridus and that's because there's been so many different ones that have been crossed together and they are beautiful and they come in whites and pinks with blotches on the petals and some really dark colored ones as well good value for money but the one you want is this one this one is Helleborus niger and this is the true christmas um, one here this is the one that people grow and this is a variety called Christmas Carol and this one I've had in this pot now for a couple of winters it does need to go into a bigger pot but of course it can grow in the garden these are totally hardy but these always flower so much earlier and this one I guarantee in the two years that we've had it always starts to flower in mid-December and goes on until about late February even into March and it has these beautiful white flowers there so I think this is the one you want look out for Helleborus Christmas Carol and that will do the trick for you in the future now Christmas house plants often get asked about them but just before that if you've got a real Christmas tree in the house lovely to have a real tree um, we've got some little ones this year we've, we bought these these are real conifers little Christmas trees just in small pots and they were only three pounds each with the roots they've been sprayed with this flock which will wash off as soon as they get wet that washes off so it doesn't harm them so what I'm going to do with these is just grow them on in a slightly bigger pot for next year and keep growing them so every year we can bring them indoors for Christmas but if you've got a cut Christmas tree in the house um, an always spruce, a Nordman, a Furs, Fraser fir, blue spruce there are so many different types that you can get now a really good choice the secret is to keep it in as cool a room as possible. If you stick it by the side of a radiator or by a log burner, it will dry up very, very quickly. So it needs to be in a coolish room if possible. And it also needs water. Treat it like you would a bunch of cut flowers. So many containers that you get for Christmas trees have got a reservoir of water. Keep that topped up continually. And, and then it will stay fresher for longer. And then obviously, hopefully by the time we get to the 12th night, it won't have dropped too many needles on your floor. Christmas plants, poinsettias, I haven't actually got one this year. Poinsettias like to be warm. So if you buy one for yourself or you're given a poinsettia, make sure it's in a nice, warm, light, airy room uh, where it doesn't suddenly dip to be really cold at night. And they hate these fluctuations of temperatures. Very often I've known people put them on a windowsill, close the curtains in front of them, open the curtains in the morning and it's drooped because it's so much colder next to the glass. So actually keep it in the room where it's a little bit warmer, never let it dry out, keep the compost just moist and that will look really, really good for not only Christmas, but right the way through until the spring. If you've got something or a room that's a bit cooler then cyclamen are ideal this is one of the dwarf cyclamen i really love cyclamen it it takes me back to when i was an apprentice and we used to grow them on the parks department and they flower and flower and flower the secret is not too warm a room if you have them in a hot room they go over very quickly and they will wilt keep the compost moist so never let them completely dry out, and they continually produce new buds and as one flower fades, and this one's dropped off here, as you can see, what we don't do is leave these stalks. This is the stalk. So what we need to do is just push our fingers in there, just gently, give it a pull, and you can see that it pulls out right the way from the tuber. If we leave them on there or cut them back, what happens is they can rot and we get mold. So as soon as flowers start to fade, just pick over them, take them off, and that will encourage a flush of flowers. And as long as we keep them cool and the compost moist, they again will flower for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And of course, we have to mention the good old Christmas cactus. Um, I haven't had a Christmas cactus, I must admit, for a number of years. And this one was given to me recently in bud by James, a friend of mine. He'd got a few in his greenhouse. And, and it's absolutely lovely. We've got this again in, in here where it's nice and light, not too warm. It just makes it flower for longer. Uh, but these will grow more or less anywhere in the house. And bear in mind, although they are cactus, they're not desert cactus, not like the cactus that you can leave for weeks and weeks and weeks without any water. This is a jungle cactus. This will actually grow as an uh, epiphytic plant on the trunk of a tree in the tropical rainforest where it gets lots of moisture, 
dapple shade and warmth um, and keep it in those conditions um, and keep it watered in a light airy place you get these beautiful flowers right the way through the winter months so there you go a few tips on how to keep your house plants nice and healthy and flowering right the way through the winter so all i've got to do now is to wish you all a very happy christmas thank you for all your support or your likes and your shares that you've given us over the last year so on behalf of myself jill who's behind the camera and sean that does all the technical editing things i'd like to wish you all a very very happy christmas and we'll see you next week. Yes, we will be back again next week between Christmas and New Year. I'm going to be doing a bit of work on the mower and getting it ready for the spring mowing season. So we'll see you then and happy Christmas. Cheers.